elusive out of Queens. A fender bender turned violent. A driver clipped another car, and instead of trading information, one driver traded blows. All of this was caught on camera. It's rough to watch. At one point, a passenger was knocked out cold. I want to get out to News 4's Mark Santia live in Jackson Heights with the latest. Mark, what a story. And Natalie, the victims, a father and son, were heading home to dinner. They just pulled out of this parking lot here and clipped another car. That fender bender quickly escalated to violence. A father and son pummeled in a Queens neighborhood moments after this seemingly minor car crash. I need bread. Go in your pocket, start digging. The man in the yellow sweatshirt is livid. Let's go, man. After his car was clipped Saturday night here in Jackson Heights. This is an accident. Accidents do happen. Calm down. I'll give you whatever you need to, to get. He said, okay, pay me up now. I need money right there. But Mohi Ahmed did not have the $1,000 the man was demanding for repairs. And he said that I'm going to kill him now. Then I said, no, you are not touching my son, and then immediately he hit me. One right hook. Mohi's son, Adele, watched his father fall to the ground here on 70th Street. And then I've never seen my dad knocked out in, and put in such a humiliating way like this. Never. You know, and I just did the loudest yell that I could possibly do. I just, like, it was so loud, but I wanted to cry. I couldn't. <laughs> A woman was with the guy in the sweatshirt. She tried to stop him, but then watch as he goes after Adele. At that point, you know, I think you saw I was kind of in a prone position, so I just kind of did this, and, you know, I, I was just, I could hear, you know, pound, pound, pound. Police say the attacker took their phones and wallet. But me, I was just shaking on control. I don't want anybody else to go through it because yes. the guy, he did it to me, he will do it to somebody else. Maybe next time it will be worse. And while the welts are starting to heal, the emotional wounds are raw. I was embarrassed that I couldn't do anything to protect my father, that this man just trampled you know, on our dignity. That was the most humiliating part for me. Now, if you recognize that man in the yellow sweatshirt, you're asked to call police immediately. We're live in Jackson Heights tonight. I'm Mark Santia, News 4 New York.